Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, like, comment, subscribe, do all that amazing stuff. My uh, social media handle will be right down here below. Hopefully I will not do what I did last time, and we're going to up that. But anyways, you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and TikTok. I do post random, unusual, weird facts from around the world on TikTok regularly, so if you're a fan of that stuff, go check out that. But yeah, let's just dive right into today's video. And before anyone comments and notices, yes, I do have a new tattoo. It is currently in the healing process, so if you see any slight scabbing, try not to cover me in the comments. But yeah, let's just dive into today's story. Now this one is kind of, let's just say, different to the usual sort of stories I do. It is a murder case, but... It's not necessarily about a specific person, although this person is kind of, you know, involved in this one. It's about a building! And I was digging far and wide in the interweb, and I could not believe my eyes when I stumbled across the, uh, the murder castle. Now I actually thought, hmm, I've heard of so many murder cases, but I've never heard of actual murder houses or you know just stuff like that so me being the curious little buddy i am i decided screw it let's just do a video on uh the murder castle of hh H. holmes so uh this murder castle it's not like any other i mean when you look at it it doesn't really look like a castle but it did actually inherit the nickname murder castle now well, this place is uh one of those. And it actually reminds me of... I can't remember, is this the Borden House? Someone drop in the comments. You'll know what I mean as soon as I start explaining the murder castle. You'll click, you'll know, you'll drop in the comments and I will comment reply saying, that's it! That's what I was thinking of. But yeah, this murder castle had all sorts going on it. It had secret chambers, it had secret trap doors, like you know, doors that open to brick walls. It literally was like, I'm pretty sure it was the boarding house. Ugh, but it was, it was something else. There was even a room where it released gas into it, which actually, you know, completely immobilized uh, the victims of this set place. But not only that, it had a torch chamber, it had, so many secret rooms, walls, corridors, stairs, you name it. Not only that, but let's just say, whenever people would go to this place, that was that. They disappeared. They were never seen again. So, uh, what a, uh, you know, how did this start? And who started this whole building? How did it come into play? Let's just, uh, take a look back and uh, check out Mr. H.H. H. Holmes himself. Born in May 1861 was Herman Holmes. Now, uh, he had, uh, he didn't have the best of upbringings, but there was a lot of theories behind his upbringing. Some say that he was abused by his father, and others say that Herman here, he, uh, he had a fascination with hurting uh, and harming killing animals. Now his father picked up on this as being a serial killer trait, which we all know, yes, it is actually a serial killer trait. But sadly, the information was never really confirmed due to it being so far back in time. So fast forward here onto when Holmes had actually graduated. He graduated at the age of 16 from Phillips Exeter Academy. In 1878, Holmes had actually tied the knot with a lady called Clara Lovering. What a surname, right? They had a son together in 1880 called Robert Lovering. So, you know, you can kind of see a change here. If he did have those things in his past, this is kind of like... You think this would be the turning point, but who knows, right? 
Housemates had actually described uh, Holmes here treating Clara very violently, so it's not really going too well for him. And it wasn't long till shortly after this that Clara had moved back to New Hampshire. Well, as they do fly around, there was a rumour that Holmes here had been seen with a little boy. Now this little boy completely disappeared. But Holmes had claimed that this little boy went back to Massachusetts. So, you know, there was no disappearance. Holmes had later travelled to Philadelphia in Pennsylvania to work as a keeper in a hospital. But this only lasted, you know, a couple of days. Did not last long for him and he had actually moved on and found a new job. He had got a job at a drugstore. But while working there, a little boy had died from medicine that was purchased at this drugstore. Holmes denied any involvement in the boy's death and he, uh, he immediately left, you know, not suspicious at all. He decided to change his name to Henry Howard Holmes and this is what he would go by, or H.H. H. Holmes. So that pretty much covers, uh, you know, Holmes' background story. I couldn't really find a lot, but you can kind of, you know, see where this one's going. Not quite going in the my direction though, I'm going in a complete gruesome direction. Holmes had come across a drugstore that belonged to Elizabeth Holton and uh, she had noticed that, you know, he was great and all, so she gave him a job working in her drugstore. Holmes proved being a really good, hard-working employee and it wasn't, you know, long until after that he had actually owned the drugstore. He purchased an empty lot that was straight opposite the drugstore. Construction had begun in 1887 to uh, make a multi-purpose, mixed sort of use building. There would be apartments on the second floor and tons of retail spaces kind of all the way around. That's quite an interesting building. But you can kind of see how, you know, it would make sense. Apartments on the top floor and then, you know, retail spaces around the bottom. Holmes here declined to pay the steel company and the architects their money for, you know, building this place. They later on sued him. In 1892, Holmes here decided to build a third floor. He had told investors and suppliers that he intended to use his third floor as a, uh, a hotel. In 1892, the building was almost complete with three storeys, a basement, ground floor, and shop fronts. So now that you've got the gist of this place and how he managed to get it, you know, up off the ground, let's just dive straight into the murders. One of Holmes' early victims was Julia and her daughter, Pearl. Now, Julia's husband here, he was actually working in this said building. Now, uh... Her and Holmes here, they had a bit of a thing kind of going on and her husband found out and he left her and Pearl. Now, uh, here's the really horrible grandpa. On Christmas Eve in 1891, Pearl and Julia completely disappeared. They were never seen again. Before their disappearance, they did continue to live in the hotel with Holmes. They thought everything was just fine, but it was far from it. They completely disappeared and this wouldn't be the first case to occur in this hotel. In May 1892, a lady called Emmeline Sigrande, I hope I pronounced that correct, she started working at the hotel and again, it wasn't long until she completely disappeared, just like Julia and Pearl did. Rumours had surfaced that she, well, she, well, she fell pregnant with Holmes's child. They pretty much, you know, decided to go down the abortion route and she supposedly died on said table while, the, you know, the abortion was in the process of happening. 
and it was quite common back then for people to die on the table during an abortion. In 1983, Holmes had actually met a one-time actress, Minnie Williams. They, uh, they had a bit of a thing. She helped him out with a lot and he wanted her to come work for him. So that's literally the case, that's what happened. And yeah, not long after, she was working for him and she was staying there too. Now, things seemed to be kind of somewhat fine for a bit. Nothing really weird happening there until Minnie's sister Annie came out to visit. Well, this will be a visit that will just eh, not go to plan whatsoever because again, it wasn't long until they disappeared and no one had heard from them at all or seen them. On November 11th, 1894, Holmes is, uh, his little murder spree would come to a complete end because he was arrested, but on completely different charges. He was held for an outstanding warrant arrest for horse theft in Texas. In 1895, the Chicago police had searched Holmes's uh, murder castle, but sadly they found nothing. Holmes had actually managed to cover his tracks. So you gotta think though, he built this place. He knows this build in the back of his head, like the back of his hand, and he is gonna, you know, be smart about this. Like you have all these really weird rooms that he created, and I'm pretty sure he had a place for the bodies to go without, you know, anything kind of being detected or found. The castle itself was, in fact, mysteriously gutted by a fire. According to the New York Times, two men were seen entering the back of the building between 8 and 9 p.m. About half an hour later, they were seen exiting the building and rapidly running away. Following several explosions, the castle went up in flames. Investigators found a half-empty gas can underneath the back steps of the building. The building survived the fire, however, in 1938, it was torn down. And it was a shame that this place was knocked down because it holds so much history. It would have been incredible as a museum, and I can imagine it would have been rather spooky to go in. I, for one, would have definitely got to be say this. But anyways guys, uh, yeah, drop what you thought below in the comments about today's video because my god, when I was searching up all the information for this video, there was so much to this case and it was just so chaotic that, you know, I had to go from like so many different sources to get it all in the correct order and that's where I kind of thought, you know what, I'm going to talk about it like in a like I said, you know, the building itself, that's, you know, that's the angle I was kind of going with. So, yeah, I'm hoping this all made sense in some sort of way. But it does suck the at the end of this, you know, this one. Holmes here, aka the murderer, he kind of, he did get away with those murders. He, uh, didn't get away with other murders. He did go down for those, but he didn't go down for the ones that happened in this murder castle. But yeah, that is uh, today's story and I hope you have enjoyed it as much as I have had so much fun researching it because I never thought I'd be able to find one on a building. And if you enjoyed that, like, comment, subscribe. And if you're new, obviously, like, comment, subscribe. But yeah, my social media will be down here below. And not floating up there. <laughs> but uh, Maddie out. Till next time. Peace.